Welcome. Have you ever thought of uh, getting a baby girl or a baby boy? I've got many questions from a lot of people asking on how to conceive a baby girl, others asking on how to conceive a baby a boy. Now, this is a very interesting uh, topic of this video. Very controversial because I'm going to talk more about theories. However, if you are looking for a baby boy or a baby girl, this video is for you. Stay tuned. If you are new here, subscribe to get more of these videos. Now, when we talk about the gender selection, we need to understand that there is only one method that is scientifically proven. 100% proven and that is gender selection in vitro fertilization. When I talk about in vitro fertilization, I mean the fertilization that occurs outside the comb but in a laboratory settings. Now, there are various researchers who came up with methods. One of the researchers that I'm going to talk today is Dr. Landram Shitri. Dr. Landram Shitri was an American obstetrician and a gynecologist, also a pioneer in the field of in vitro fertilization. Now, before we go to the methods of uh, Dr. Landram Shitli, we need to understand the human chromosomes. We have the uh, uh, woman chromosomes and the uh, man chromosomes. Now, the woman produces the XX chromosomes and the man have the uh, XY chromosomes. Now, if a man, if a woman uh, donates the, during uh, uh, sexual intercourse, donates the X chromosomes, and uh, a man donates the X chromosome, they're going to have the XX. This is a baby girl. Now, if a woman donates the X chromosome, and a man donates the Y chromosome, we're going to have the XY, uh, which is a baby boy. Now, this one will help us to understand the methods that were discussed by uh, Dr. Uh, Landram Sittl. Now, uh, Dr. Sittl came up with uh, various differences of uh, boy sperms and girl sperms during the research. Now, he stated that the boy uh, sperms are faster, you know, to travel than the girl's sperms. Now, the boy sperms they are smaller than the uh, girls' sperms. Now, the boy sperms takes three days in the female productive uh, system. Now, the girls' sperms takes five days. The boy sperms are favored in alkaline conditions. Uh, the girls' sperms are favored in acidic condition. Now, these differences gonna help us uh, in one of the methods that we're going to discuss that was uh, decided by Dr. Landram Sittl. Now, he came up with one method known as the ovulation method. Now, this is that you must be sure of your ovulation day. This one is when you have the regular menstrual cycle. Let's take, for example, you have a 28 uh, cycle. Now, if your ovulation day is on 25th, you know, 25th is your ovulation day of January 2023. Now, your ovulation day is on 25th. Counting the uh, five days uh, behind the ovulation day, the 24th, 23rd, 22nd, and 21st. Now, if a man deposits the sperms on 21st, you're going to get a baby girl. This is because uh, the baby girl sperms are, are very slower and they take five days. So the only thing during operation is the baby girl that is going to be found. The baby uh, boy sperms going to die on 23rd. So this is a baby girl. 
But if your man gonna depost the spams on 23rd, you're gonna have a baby boy. This is because the baby boy spams are faster and they take three days. So they travel faster. On the ovulation day, there will be a baby boy spams. So you're gonna get the baby boy. If a man deposit the uh, spams on the 25th, you're gonna have a baby boy. This is because they take, uh, they are faster to travel and they take less time, less days uh, in the what we call the female productive uh, system. So therefore, in conclusion, on this ovulation method, uh, Chantel suggests that if you want to get a baby boy, you need to deposit the spams on three days or prior to ovulation or on ovulation day three days prior to ovulation day or on ovulation day to get a baby boy the other method that dr shittle came up with is a female orgasm he suggested that during uh, orgasm there are alkaline production this alkaline solution is all it favored the baby boy spams you know so in if you are looking for a baby boy make sure your woman reaches orgasm the other method is uh, about sexual position this dr landram shitri talks about face to face during sexual intercourse you know and uh, doing it deep or shallow if you do deep penetration there are high chances of getting a baby boy this is because depositing uh, sperms near or in the suffix and the distance now traveling from the cervix to the uterus to the varupian tube is shorter hence there are more chances of getting a baby boy if you if you do it shallow there are high chances of getting a baby girl now try these methods they are not 100 percent proven try them you might be the luckiest person so these are theories that Dr. Landram Shittle came up with.